Hello, welcome and welcome back. This is Jane here and we're doing another Sunday reset. So on this day we went we went to Tartan Park so we've not been away. Um, so this was on Sunday, Liverpool was playing, my husband wanted to be to walk, to be at home to watch that. So we went to Tartan Park. We had a lovely, lovely walk. Came back. Then my mum and I went out to the Apple. shop. So generally speaking, I tend to do most of my cleaning during the week. So I will exercise in the morning. I will do some cleaning. So I will only clean one area. So, and a little bit in the kitchen. Um, so... But because I've got a new job, I'm struggling with that at the moment. So there's still a little bit more cleaning to be, being done over the weekend than I would like to. So I also do one load of washing a day when I'm not home. But my mum is currently at home, so she does the washing for us. And so I've done a few shots of showing me putting away the wash, piles and piles of washing in the morning. And that's because my mum is very good and she does the washing for us uh, on sunny days and that's what's happened but generally speaking i would only put one load of washing in the morning put it on the timer it would be just washed when i go home put it out and fold some clothes um but because she's here that's where we got our washing is a bit more efficient so on this side we had been to the shop and being able to do an efficient shop is an important part f for my weekly prep. I would have done this on a Friday on the way home, but because my mum is around and we were not going away this weekend, so I knew we had time to do this on the Sunday. So being able to buy stuff that makes sense to make healthy meals is important to me. I always have peppers, mushrooms and fruits. Um, and we normally don't buy carrots, but I wanted to make some uh, lentil and carrot soup. So that's that's what that about. So you'll also see we got massive fly on that on there. We don't have an infestation like we did a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, we still got it's still summer. We still got flies. So and also watching this clip and just aware of how much packaging there is in shopping, but. I kind of don't know how to go around that at the moment. So, so yeah. So I put away the the wash. Uh, sorry, the shopping, and then prepare food for the week. Um, on this particular this particular week, we had received our soup maker, so we got one on sale. It's one liter, and it was thirty nine pound. Uh, it's quite good. The only issue I have with it is it's too small for us. Uh, my mum lives in Kenya. She lives alone, so she said she would be happy to have it. So we're just kind of using it until the next sale, and then she's going to have it when we get a bigger one. So uh, so that was that. But as you sure this dish is to be done. <laughs> and I was going to be preparing my vegetables, so... This courgette is actually not rotten. It just got bruised. Uh, that's what that was about. Um, I w it was the first time to use the, uh, the soap maker, so I had too much vegetables out, but it's okay. Vegetables don't go to waste in this house. On the windowsill, you'll also see I got sprouts, uh, sprouting, and that's because I do take sprouts in my smoothies. The rest of them are not very keen on that. So I've done that for about one year. So I know it does not affect me. The people who cannot stomach uh, rose sprouts in the smoothie, like my husband. But I'm, I'm happy and perfectly with, with it. You don't actually taste it when you put mango and banana in it. So this is me preparing the chicken soup. Um, I'm just chopping everything up and then it will be dumped into the soap maker. Uh, I actually made two batches. The first batch was kind of plain with just vegetable stock. And the second one, I added some green Thai 
sauce which is a bit spicy and coconut milk so the first batch was for my son and my mom the second one was for myself and my husband uh, we use I use bone broth because I got this concentrate from Amazon it's very good it's got it is very good but it's also got collagen that is why I get it for bone health but also for my skin because I'm 40 and I exercise a lot so I do need collagen uh, I used to ha to get bones and boil them, but I'm not about that life anymore. So I'm trying to go for the easiest route, uh, and that's what why I've got the bone bo uh, the bone broth concentrate. It's quite good. I would highly recommend it. The only issue with it is it is actually thirty four pound, but I would say it's worth it. Um, I think it is worth it anyway. Uh, next up, I was going to make some juice for my child because he said he wanted to have some orange juice. So I was being very intentional with how I made the juice and what I put in it. And that's because I was going to use the pulp to make the my smoothies the following day. So my husband had a smoothie with a pulp and he actually said he had loose tools because it was too much fiber. And so he cannot do that. But I was fine. It's very good for detox. That's what I'm trying to say. But because I was going to have this pulping smoothies, I was I had to chop up to take the seeds off the um, the apples, which I normally wouldn't do because I did not want that in my smoothie. It probably would not make any effect, but that's just me. So then. Um, I will also do not add other things I would do, like I would have added carrots if I did not want the pulp or celery, but I did not want any of that in my smoothie, so I did it. Uh, so I had to be intentional with it. This juice was really, really good. Uh, and it was a lot as well. Them uh, orange juice were good. So I think I'll carry on doing this. Um, but I don't want to freeze the pulp. Uh, so I just make for my child and use the pulp myself for the smoothies. On the surface you'll also see I've got chia seeds and that is for extra um, fiber. So I soak it in hot water and then it let it cool down and use it in smoothies. And I'm currently using a bit doing a beetroot smoothie from on my one meal a day. I will use raw beetroots. I I do not like boiled sp sp beetroots. And it's the other way around. My husband loves boiled beetroots and he hates raw beetroots. So we're very opposite in that way. So uh, actually he likes his beetroots peacod. Um, so yeah. Um, and then we're doing dishes. In my next house, I'm manifesting a bigger house. I'm manifesting a bigger house with a dishwasher because I'm over hand washing dishes. And so next up you can see the soup is ready this was actually batch one and this was for my child and the husband i've already shown you how my uh, my one meal a day was and so i got these cups from bnm and i think they're very good size for soup so that's what i'm using them for uh, and then we're back to dishes. Um, we never stop doing dishes in the house. We're always doing dishes in this house because we don't have a dishwasher. Um, anyway, back to my idea why I like to do this Sunday reset is because I feel like I start on a good footing with having done this Sunday reset. I know that there's healthy food in the fridge. Um, we, we're currently doing a lot of uh, mushroom soup and other soups. and. My husband looks after the child after school for the activities. On Monday, he's got we got horse riding. Uh, Tuesday is football. Wednesday is swimming. Thursday is off, and Friday is music lesson. Saturday morning is f football again. So it's quite important to have healthy food prepared. Otherwise, we'll be eating junk food all the time. And as you can see, with my fat belly on show, I've put on a bit of weight. I've been losing weight, but. We all need to be healthy around here so that we're not putting on a lot of weight. And and in particular for me, I'm on a weight loss journey. Um, so that that is kind of what is going on here. So as I said, my mom is around. She does a lot of laundry for us. And that's what's happening with the table. There's a whole load of laundry to be sorted out. Uh, 
on this day it was wet outside that's why i've put the drying racks up but i've got to put away all these uh clothes um because the previous day we had actually been to cheshire oaks for my mom shopping so these and my my son got himself some pajamas as well so those that washing which needed to be done as well to be folded away and put away so this is what this is about uh my goal in the kitchen is to have this dining table clear because it allows everybody to congregate here and have a meal together um, but if it is not clear then everybody t seems to pick their food and scatter to wherever to have their meal uh, and I also get a lot of satisfaction and looking at this table and having it clear uh, because it's usually the last thing I tackle so I know if it's clear there's a lot, whole lot of cleaning that has been done um, as I said, we had been to B&M, so we got a, f a few stuff from there, um, just to help me with organising everything and cleaning. Uh, but also in this week, my child was starting school, so it's quite important to get back into my routines, which I haven't yet, because my mum is over. Because once my mum's gone, I will have, I will be dropping the child off to school at half seven. And before that, I will need to have woken up, done some reading in the morning, basically done my morning routine, which involves reading, exercise, and a bit of cleaning, showering, getting ready for work, and being out of the door for half seven, then getting back to the house, pick up my bike and cycle to work. So I need to get into the mindset of getting back into my routines. I've got about three more weeks at this point. You'll also see me uh, sorting out my work bag. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what to go in it or not. So I have to have some personal care items there. That is wipes and deodorant because I do cycle to work. Although I don't sweat, I still like to have that there. I've got a lot of paperwork there because I write notes on these papers there's no confidential information there, but I'm still getting to know. I might just get a notepad or something instead of having too much paper. I'm still trying to figure out what works for me. And finally, you can see the table is clear and I'm happy with that. Um, so thanks again for watching this video. You'll, you'll see me sorting out the laundry. You'll see the family eating in a bit. I ate separately because I wanted something different. And so that is my Sunday reset. So thank you for watching and have a lovely week ahead.